This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 65 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. Alright, so we were chamfering uh, these, this edge right there. Polygon. Um, actually, let's not chamfer that. Vertices go in the front view here. And just grab all of them. Just grab all of them. And shrink them down a bit. Okay. Box. Create a box that goes straight through the center here. Comes out. And bring it forward a bit. Okay. Looks good. Alright, and uh, copy it to the other side. Copy. Okay. Next, create a cylinder uh, right here, and just make sure that it goes through. You can give it a few more sides if you want. We'll just center it up and copy it over. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to want to select this edge, select that edge, that edge, loop. That edge, that edge, and loop. Okay, manually. Oh, you don't have to manually do it. Select all those. Loop, loop. That. 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 Loop. Okay. Chamfer. Give it a nice chamfer. Okay. Um, convert it into a probooleum. Select that, 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 and that. Okay. And convert to an editable poly. Polygon. Edge, I guess. Deselect all the internal edges. And then chamfer what's left. Small chamfers. Next, create a cylinder. Let's do it on the top over here. Alright. Uh, bring it over. Alright. Uh, sink it down over here. To edit to a poly, polygon, select the top and bottom edges, and bevel. We're going to want to bevel outward a bit. Okay, extrude like so, and then bevel inward a bit. Okay. Pretty good, then copy it over to this side. Oops, copy it over. Okay. Looks decent. Next, we're going to want to select those two and these two. Bring them out, and if I get lucky, like that, they'll pretty much sink right in. Just, uh, if any of them are still sticking in there, just bring them out a bit. Okay, select them all. Bring it over, okay. Mirror on the X, and sink them right back in. Okay, and next let's build some cylinders. So the left hand view. Maximize it. And oops, build some 
cylinders. Perspective here. Up. Bring it over. And increase the height a bit. Uh, actually, decrease the height. We're going to do this individually. I forgot. Okay. Um, bring it up. Okay, and there's it's like three of them. All right. Uh, rotate. Okay. Move it to the center. And offset it. Okay. And then select these three. We'll rotate even more. Okay. And leave these where they are. Actually, no, you gotta bring them. Looks like a little bit left. Okay. Now we can keep them there. Select all of them. And copy them over. Okay. Center them up. Now select this and compound objects, put Boolean, start picking. And then pick all the things that are sticking in it. Oops. Not that one though. Okay. Uncheck that. Um, Deselect that. Select this. Make that a pro uh, Start picking. Pick all of its bars. Okay. Deselect it. And now our gun barrels are complete. Um, X isolation on here. If it works. Uh, don't worry about the textures, that's just something I'm doing on the side. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials for them. Alright, and yeah. there's our finished orc uh, gun wagon. We did the engine, the guns, all the turrets and or front pieces, sides, treads. Uh, and again, you can animate the treads using a. Let's see. Um, you, you create a spline in the shape of this, then use some type of constraint. There's tutorials on the internet for that. And. Um, everything is done. Make sure there's nothing left. I mean, the only thing that's really left to do is uh, textures, which I'm working on. Uh, and from here, uh, you've learned enough that you could go on to build the top if you wanted to, or create any of the big weapons that could go off right here, like the... I don't know what they have, but you can create any of those. Um, you could add more wiring if you want, or detail this some more. Uh, you could create an orc or something. And if you really wanted to go into more depth, I guess, you could create the inside of this cabin here. Um, create suspension underneath or something. Uh, well, thank you for watching all these tutorials. And if I get a lot of comments and good reviews, uh, I'll make another one. Uh, comment on what you want it to be, um, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, thanks again, and actually before I go, this last little thing I guess, add a smooth modifier with auto smooth, and add it to that one as well. 
Alright, uh, that's it. Bye-bye.